So you have CML2, and what you want to do is be able to kind of multiplex uh, multiple VLANs into your CML VM so you can use them as external connectivity nodes uh, in your topologies in your lab. So this is what I have at home. I've got a switch that's trunking VLAN uh, 10 and 20, so VLANs 10 and 20 into VMware. So my ESXi host uh, has a trunk connection to this switch. Of course, VLAN 1 is the native VLAN, and we have CML as a VM in that ESXi instance. So this is my ESXi host. And the first thing I need to do is create a port group um, for the trunk. So essentially what I want to do is pass that trunk on to the CML VM. So the CML VM um, sees all of the VLANs. So I created a port group called NC trunk. Uh, within that port group, I set the VLAN ID, this is the critical part, to 4095, which VMware reserves for essentially send me everything, give me all your tags. So 4095 is the VLAN ID. Then I come over to my CML VM and I'm going to add another network adapter. So I'm keeping my primary network adapter. In this case, it's, it's in VLAN 10. It's in my main management VLAN for my home network. But I'm going to create another one. You don't have to do this. You, you could do the trunk over the main one, but it gets kind of messy. So I'm going to leave the main network adapter just dedicated to management. And I'm going to create a second one and put it into that trunk port group, port group with 4095. As the, um, uh, as the VLAN ID. Next thing I need to do is come to cockpit. So come to the CML cockpit and select the networking tab. And I'm going to add, so the interface should already show up. Let me see that here, it's, it's inactive, but it's, it's there. Um, I'm making it on, so it's now active. So I've got the interface there. Uh, it's not going to get an IP because the native VLAN is one and I'm not doing anything over VLAN one. But I am now going to add a VLAN interface. So I add a VLAN interface. I'm going to say the parent is my new second interface and my VLAN ID is 10. That's the first VLAN I want to put over there. This is going to cause a temporary network disruption. Um, so you can see it already got an IP address in that same subnet. So both the main interface is on VLAN 10, and of course now you can see that VLAN 10 is working. Uh, but this is going to cause a temporary network disruption because now we have two interfaces in the same VLAN, but it, it will automatically recover after a few seconds. Um, so that's still doing, still going, still going. Um, we're essentially Next, going to add uh, when the network converges, and hopefully, maybe by now it has. Again, another parent is the secondary interface, and I have VLAN 20. As I showed on my slide, I also have VLAN 20 in there. So I apply it, good. So now I have both uh, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Uh, I don't have IPv4 running on my VLAN 20, but you can see that that does seem to be working because it is getting the, the V6 router advertisement. This is fine just to create, now, now, the CML VM has multiple VLANs, but our end goal is to be able to use these VLANs as external connectivity points on our topologies in our virtual labs. So the next thing we need to do is add a bridge. And I'm gonna call one bridge 10 and don't select the, the root parent interface, select the VLAN interface is to be in that bridge group. So bridge 10, it's going to be that interface, uh, ENS 192.10 of that. So you'll see that the VLAN interface disappears in, in lieu of the bridge. I'm going to add another bridge interface. Uh, I'm going to call this one bridge 20 and its parent or it, what's going to be in that bridge group will be the dot 20 sub interface. So now I've got bridge 10 and bridge 20. Bridge 10 still has a IPv4 and now bridge 20 has an IPv6. Now we're done from the cockpit standpoint. We've got everything that we're going to need in order to have uh, ES, uh, in order to have our CML VMs be able to use this uh, as external connectivity. So back over to CML, I've got a topology running and I've got this unconfigured external connectivity node. So I'll go to the config, select custom for it and specify one of my new bridge IDs. In this case, I want it to be connected to uh, VLAN 10. So I'll set bridge 10 because that's the bridge interface I created and then I can start this node. 
this node's going up. Now it's got state, so I can't change it. When it's up, I want to come over to my router here. And it looks like I've selected interface uh, gigabit ethernet one zero for the router. So show run in GI or zero slash one, I should say. So I put an IP address 127, 10.127 on here. Um, and we'll just do a show CDP neighbor. Um, so we are seeing something in my home network, my free NAS off of uh, zero one. So that seems to be working. Can I ping my default gateway out of uh, zero one? Yes, I can. So now we've seen how we can get external connectivity uh, in there. Now let's go ahead and shut this down just to prove that both of them work. But now it's got state, so I'm gonna go over to simulate here, select the external connectivity, wipe that node, that'll remove its state and let me configure it again. So now what I'm gonna do is give it bridge 20 is the name, seem to like that. I'll start the new node up. But now it's in VLAN 20, so I come over, which I don't have IPv4 running in my home network, so I've gotta go back into, um, interface and I'll say no IP address and I'll say IPv6 address uh, we'll do auto config since it should be able to uh, uh, pick up I don't probably need IPv6 enabled but I'll, I'll give it on there anyway um, and then I'll do a show IPv6 in brief and we see that 01 did in fact get an IPv6 address in my VLAN 20 range how do we know? If you note, it says uh, Bravo 23 Alpha. If I come over here, we see that Bridge 20 has Bravo 23 Alpha. So now we've uh, successfully enabled VLANs 10 and 20 to be trunked all the way through my, my home network into CML. And now I can use them as points for external connectivity on the topology. Hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'll be doing this, uh, these kind of demonstrations. Just let me know what you would like to see. Thanks.